Hello everybody, hopefully you're having a wonderful, fantabulous, and mystical day. My name is Emmanuel Aguilar, aka Mystic Fox 4, and on today's All Art and No Breaks, um, we're gonna go through Art Station and kind of look at different artists that I've been looking at, um, or that have, you know, come up on the uh, Art Station kind of uh, uh, exploration on my own time. Now, I want to thank everybody who's been watching the All Art and No Breaks video series that I've been starting. I know I haven't been done too many videos with the application, but you can be rest assured I have been kind of doing that on my own time. I just haven't had the time to quite record it. But um, I want to thank everybody for watching the videos and for taking the time to actually do that. So um, let's hop right into it after I said that. And uh, let's get things started. So the first person I'm going to introduce is called Ella Creamer. I don't know if I've um, talked about them a little bit in the last episode or in any of the episodes prior, but they are really, really interesting. I really like a lot of the shape dynamics that they're doing. Um, and on their actual profile, you can see a lot of more uh, shapey things and shapey designs. Now, you're probably like, hey, Mystic Fox, why haven't you talked about any other shapey things? I have, dude. Like, you, you go look at all the other characters, but I really like how they're kind of doing silhouettes of the characters, and how this is like bird-like almost. Um, and like the influence that that this person uses with some of the stuff is just really cool. Like, it's more painterly at the bottom, um, and then just that that painterly look that they got going on, like it's physical paint, you know, using the brush, the you know texture brushes and stuff while they're working, and blending those in. It's also really really cool. Alrighty, the next artist is going to be Zexy Gua. Now, I think I've talked about them in the past, um, but uh, like when I was talking about the character design series, when I was talking like around this stuff, um, I don't remember off the top of my head, but you can go ahead and check these out. I will do in a future video an actual dive in on this artist in particular, um, because this is something that a friend recommended because they wanted to you know, share this artist's work more. And I do agree that this artist's character designs are just top notch. Like they're just really interesting to look at. And like, you can see a lot of like difference between the characters where like this guy's like, you know, more official, uh, you know, orderly, like kind of thing. And this guy's like outlaw, like he, he screams outlaw and he's like the bad guy, right? Um, and then this guy's like, you know, a boxer that's like, like, um, He's obsessed with stims and like fighting and he's a brawler, right? And then like, you know, the samurai type dude. Like they're all very distinct and I love their designs too and how they kind of coincide with that kind of idea. I think it's really cool. Um, and the draftsmanship in this is like really, really good. It's high quality draftsmanship. Um, I really like the line quality and everything in this piece. Uh, this one in particular it reminds me a lot about Mundo from uh, League of Legends if you're not familiar with it. But... That's going to be Zexy Ghoul, like I said. In another video, I'll go more in-depth, but right now, we're going to speed through to the next one. So, um, keep in mind, guys, all of these uh, illustrators, character designers, and all of that is going to be linked in the description down below. So, if you do want to check out more of their content or more of their like stuff, you can go ahead and look down in the description. I will have them all linked down below. Now, this is going to be Devin Yang. I really, really like Devin Yang's character design. Now, I think I like it for a few reasons. I like them because... They're really um, shapey, but the other part to it is that they have a lot of influence of like how the actual design has magic in it. And I think that's something that I need to work at or work with where it's like she plays this heart, but she's also like what the character says. It's a Reaper songstress. Um, the design was inspired by, I'm not going to try to say that, Assassins from Kung Fu Hustle, uh, which is, if you're not familiar with it, um, Kung Fu Hustle is this like fun like kung fu based movie where they're super over the top action um and there's these two um like i don't know what they're called they're um they they play this this thing uh it's an instrument i believe it's the Gu guquin i can't say that um and it was really cool um like they play the instrument they shoot kind of like these blades everywhere which i think this is what it's replicating um, to my knowledge. Um, and I really like that idea of like using music kind of as a weapon or to control this kind of a weapon. And you can see here in the sketch, like that's very much like what they were aiming for with the kind of design. And then once they finalize everything and like, you know, solidify the drawing, I think it really sat in. I really like how they ended up putting a face here and it's like a weapon thing. Um, but in the actual show, the 
the characters this is a, a live action show by the way the characters sit down so i think i would have liked to have seen like how she plays it when she sits down like maybe even put in a mechanic here that like turns this like it turns it flat so like she she stabs it into the ground and then like it's flat and then how she plays it when it's flat um i think would be really cool or like she could have stabbed this into like a big old monster and she's playing on top of the monster shooting it at people I think having those little things on the sides here would be really cool. Um, and um, I like this uh, of this one. Um, so these are the two dudes here from the movie. And you see how he's sitting down, right? I would have really liked to have seen like this, like stab into the ground. Um, and you know, you know, it'd be even cooler, right? She stabs into the ground and it makes undead that come out of the ground and fight for her. That'd be really cool too, because she's a reaper, right? And reapers have to deal with the dead. And you can see in a lot of these designs how it kind of inspired the final design she picked. Or this 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 artist, Devin Yang, uh, decided to, to sit on. Um, I don't see how this one quite fit into it, like looking at the design. But I'm sure it influenced it in some way, shape, or form. You can see like a lot of like, this is what's called a reference board on like how the different things that they decided to pick actually got into the design and like a harp and like how the harp is designed or... You know, the Quing, what is it called? Gu Quin, how it's designed. You can see how it's inspired, you know. I think it's really cool. Um, all right. So, everybody who's watching, thank you um, again. Um, hopefully, you're liking this series. I had to make this one really quick today just because I got a couple other things I got to get done. But... Um, if you did like the video, make sure to comment down below. Like, what did you, what artist did you like from this week's showcase? Uh, if I use an artist from the past week, um, I apologize. <laughs> but uh, I just really like some of these artists, and I really want to get their name out there. Um, and if you did like the video, make sure you hit the like button. Comment down below. Let me know which artist you liked or where you took from uh, some of the artists. And um, give me some some artists that you would like to see in the future maybe i haven't seen them before i haven't found them i think this is a great place to kind of introduce other people to them as well so don't forget guys to stay mystical